All right, so what I'm going to show you now is how to use uh, your clipboard to increase your uh, productivity. So a clipboard in PowerPoint, or it's actually in the entire office suite, a clipboard is um, like a temporary holding area. So for example, I've got this puzzle piece here. I can right click on it, copy. Now I've basically taken that image, put it on my clipboard, and now when I want to reuse the image, I hit paste, and now I've got uh, a copy of my image pasted. I'm going to delete that. So that makes using the clipboard pretty easy. You copy, paste, copy, paste, and that's typically what people do. What's really nice with the clipboard is the clipboard actually has 24 slots that you can add uh, content to. So that becomes really nice when you're repeating uh, some of the elements that you use in your course. So for example, say you're building a scenario, and in the course of your scenario you have um, 10 different characters that you want to use. Typically what you'd have to do is you'd have to have your characters and then maybe they're clip art images, they're on, the, on a slide so you've got your 10 characters laid out on a slide somewhere or you've got them as image files. So if you want to use a character you're going to go to insert um, picture and select your character and insert it that way or you're going to go to a slide, you're going to select your character, you're going to copy it and then you're going to come to another slide and you're going to paste it and then you can move that character around on your screen. And that works fine. Um, here's a way to do that even faster. Let's say, we'll delete him, let's say you want to save all of your content and we'll just say these are your, uh, your this is the content that you want to use in your course. What you can do is look at your clipboard and fill the clipboard up. So let's go ahead and look at the clipboard first. So if you hit Alt E and then B, that's going to open your clipboard. I'm going to go ahead and clear it so it's empty. So the clipboard here is empty. So let me close it, show you how to do that again. So Alt E and then hit your B key, that opens your clipboard. Now what's nice with the clipboard is I can click on this. I'm going to hit Control X so it starts to delete them from the slide. So I'm going to Control X. Now I've loaded him on the clipboard. Click on him, Control X, Control X, Control X. I can go to these other slides. So I've got the lady here, Control X, the guy, Control X. I've got my garbage can, Control X. And so you can see I've loaded my clipboard up. And then whenever I need something, so if I want the garbage can, I just write or click on it, and I've got my garbage can on the slide. And um, so. As you can see, if I'm going to build this scenario, let's say I go to a blank slide. I'm going to close all this down. I'm at my blank slide, and I realize, oh, here's where I want to have the Macintosh and the Apple guy. So I'm going to do Alt E B. That opens up my clipboard. Find my Apple and Macintosh in my uh, Windows guy. I've got them. Now I can build my scenario out. Um, maybe I want them arguing about the Seahawks. So I can do that. And I'm not having to go locate my content. It's right there. Another way this is really effective is if you pre-build certain types of features that you use in your course. So in this case, we had a scenario. We preloaded it with characters, and then we just uh, use it to paste our characters in our scenes. What if, you were, what if you were using the same type of feature all the time? So let's go ahead and delete these guys. And um, let's say what we have is you've built out a uh, talking points um, object. So we're gonna we've got this topic uh, this object here. It looks like this. We'll fill this in here with white and um, uh, we'll make this look a little nicer here. So this is green. Okay so we've got your topic talking points here and maybe uh, we can add some text in here. I have to change the text color to black so we can see it. So you've got your your talking points. So this is a box that you're going to use all the time at various places in your course. So just control exit and if you notice here it is on the clipboard. I'm going to close the clipboard. So where I'm working, da da da, I come to a slide and say, oh here's where I want to add my talking point memo. So let me go ahead uh, do Alt E B that brings me to my clipboard. There's my 
talking points. I could, you know, do whatever I want to, move it around, add my, you know, change my text, whatever I want to do. So that quickly I've got my content ready to go. I can access it. I don't have to jump around my slides or I don't have to insert pictures and look for them in folders.